it, kudos to you, Mon Amigo, with you picking up on Jill Abramson with her uh, her humming. And I spoke to someone who was actually yes. I spoke to someone who was actually being in a meeting with her, and it took her half an hour to get to a certain point. And this uh, person she'll go unnamed says she is the absolute worst, horrible, wicked witch of the West, total c word you can imagine. She's a horrible human being from someone I tr- trust as a reliable source. And so, who's been in a meeting with her. Yeah, it was been in a meeting and it apparently was excruciating for her to get to one point. And it was like something that didn't even matter. So uh, people are sending us uh, humming clips of her. I'm extremely <laughs> conscious. About the girl thing. You feel any pressure there? No, I feel pride in the girl thing. <laughs> 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 I'll laugh at yours. I'm out of control when you I, listen to this one. I feel pride of the girl thing. You know, I'm proud to be the first woman executive editor. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud to be the first woman executive editor. As I was happy to be the first woman Washington bureau chief. Okay. And... You know, I, in fact, wrote a Week in Review piece Peace. when Katie Corn right. was named Anchor. And anchor. the point of my piece is, like, when will we get to the point when people aren't fixating on the first woman this or that? Ah. You know, in some way. <laughs> God. <laughs> she does she's, un- she's unbearable. <laughs> she really is. She's not. Look at, if we were looking at uh, audition tapes, she would not make the cut. By the way, we're so stupid. It's a reality show. America's next news shill. <laughs> it's a reality show. That's what it is. Thank you, chat room. Hot pockets.